What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by my music. Since we don't really do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll go ahead and show that. Put a new single called By Your Side out recently, and it's available anywhere you listen to music or stream your music, so I'd appreciate if you show it some love. All right, guys, I, I want to share with you some numbers here. Uh, and I, I know I get called out on my math all the time, so that's totally fine. Please double check me on this so that <laughs> just to make sure I'm looking at it the right way. Now I have this fantasy. Okay. I have this fantasy about SPS, um, or the circulating supply of SPS dropping to 1 billion by the time we, uh, get to, you know, the throes of a bull run. So, you know, over the next six, nine, 12 months, whatever it is. And uh, clearly, we're sitting at 1.5 billion right now, and we're minting more every day. But the reason I like 1 billion is because it's it's just a clean number. If SPS were to get back up to like a dollar, right, it would be a $1 billion project, or 50 cents would be a $500 million project. It's easy. It's round. And also... The more we burn, the higher the individual token price can go, the higher the ceiling on the individual token price. So I, I was just, again, playing with some numbers that I thought were worth sharing here because as we are moving into hopefully what will be a bull run with new players coming in and new money hopefully finding its way into Splinterlands, there was something I, I was I was checking out. So here's here's uh, where we stand currently. All right, DEC is not currently a peg, and SPS is sitting at 71% of a penny. So it's not even at a penny yet. But to make the numbers easy, I was like, okay, let's say we burn SPS at values at a penny or lower, right? But let's just assume it's at a penny to make it easy. So there's actually some wiggle room here, some some upside, which uh, makes this estimate a little bit more conservative. And we wanted to burn 500 million tokens, okay, for DEC. Now, what that would do if we were to burn all that SPS, 500 million SPS, but you know, at at the price of a penny or lower, right? But I'm I'm just using a penny here as an example. That would essentially mint uh, five billion DEC as it currently stands. Now, you take that five billion DEC, you divide it by 4,000. Because what I'm looking at is the amount of packs that could soak up. And all of a sudden, we're looking at 1.25 million packs. Now, I'm looking at you, Rebellion, because there's about 2.5 billion there. Um, or sorry, 2.5 million there. But keep in mind, Rebellion only sucks up, uh, or like the Dow only sucks up two or half of it, right? So 2,000 DEC. The rest goes to the team, which ends up getting recirculated in. So really, you would need to get like 2.5 million packs sold at 4,000 DEC a pop. Um, now, here's the thing. Could this be a combination of Rebellion, the mini set, and maybe even the core set next year? That could be interesting, right? Uh, I, I mean, I think between those, there there could be a chance, right? We don't know what this potential mini set will look like. We don't know what the price is going to be either and what the appetite for it will be. We don't know what the end of the Rebellion sale will bring, although I'd like for us to see 1.2 billion or 1.25 million sold as that would be the top end, right? Matt wanted 2 million packs or he was hoping for 1.5 to 2 million packs sold for the entire set. Uh, clearly, we haven't even crossed 1 million yet, but if there is a rush at the end, whether it's current players speculating and, and finally leveling up their decks before modern shifts, or new players coming in and wanting these Rebellion cards, that could be interesting, right? Now, here's the thing. This is where my fantasy dies. It's because SPS, as it currently stands, there's only about 500 million liquid, which means we'd have to burn everything that's liquid right now, and of course, the price would absolutely shoot up at that point. So it's not going to stay under a penny if we were to burn this much. But again, I'm just I was just trying to keep the numbers easy here and show you that hey, if we did have an appetite for another million or so packs, a million plus packs, that could really eat through a lot of the extra SPS cuz we don't have to get exactly to 1 billion. That's not what I'm shooting for, but something, you know, any way in which we can lower the the actual circulating supply significantly 
again, that increases from a market cap perspective, or well, from an individual token price perspective, it increases the upside ceiling because the entire market cap of the project then is no longer as large if you don't have as many tokens, right? Which is the whole point of this, let's continue running SPS for the rest of our lives, right? While, um, while people want to play the game and want to own a, a good amount of it, right? Uh, this is how the flywheel works, not just for this bull run, but hopefully every bull run, every major set release in the future. We'll just constantly be burning SPS and the people that want to have some will hold it as long as they possibly can until they feel it is worth selling, right? So I, I don't know if and when we get to a point where SPS hits 50 cents or a dollar or five dollars, but I'll bet you somebody that's holding that long is going to look at that and be like, yeah, I think I'll sell some SPS. Not Maybe not their entire stake, but you have to find where those points are going to be. And I'm not talking about next year. I'm talking about like, you know, years into the future, assuming the game survives and thrives following this uh, upcoming bull run. So again, I, that this is this is where my fantasy lies. I don't know how much we can actually burn. And the other thing that I haven't even really compensated for here is the fact that we aren't even at PEG yet. And we have a significant oversupply still that we need to get through and eat through. But uh, I'm kind of offsetting that with the upcoming promo cards. I'm hoping the promo cards can take care of most, if not all of that, maybe even more. And then we can focus in on reducing the supply to get as close to 1 billion as possible. Now, again, we're going to be minting SPS every day. So I'm not, I know we're not actually going to get to 1 billion, but here's the cool thing, right? Like a lot of the projects out there already are in the 300 to 500 million uh, range in terms of their overall market cap. SPS is a micro, has a micro market cap at 10 million. So again, you know, the upside there I think is, is pretty plain for everybody to see high risk, high reward. So, you know, not financial advice, but I will say this, right? Once a bull run, whenever that happens right next year or some other time, whenever that ends up going, like all the other gaming projects in the space are going to start to rise. So they're not going to be in the 300 to 500 to $1 billion space. They'll be higher than that. Right. I, I don't remember the exact specifics, but I know that each of like, you know, like I, I think Gala was over a billion Axie might've been a couple billion. Right. Um, it's not out of the realm of possibility for a lot of these projects, especially the, the top ones, to be multi-billion, right? And so, again, am I saying Splendorless is going to reach that level? I mean, ideally, yes, but I, realistically, I don't know. I don't think so, just because we're, we're not on that same level. Although, although I do think that the team is in a much better position to take advantage of any spotlight that is shown on Splendorless now. Uh, and again, if, if SPS starts to go higher and higher, I do believe you're going to have people flooding the gates, right? Just to like, like just to come in and earn because the earning potential here is significantly higher and much more streamlined than it is for other games, right? You can either buy or rent your way into earning something and it's easily it's easy to calculate the APR, it's easy to do x y and z. Uh, that's why a lot of us are here. Um, and, and ultimately like, I think that there will be an opportunity that something like that will happen, whether SPS, uh, I mean, I think it can, it can happen as, as early as like SPS hitting three to five cents. Right. But if we, if that, uh, flywheel mechanic brings even more people in because the price just continues to go up, meaning the rewards being paid out goes up and up and up. Well, that's, I mean, that's where the beauty of the life spiral comes in. And then all of a sudden we're looking at stupidly high SPS prices and all of a sudden we are at a position where we burn a lot of SPS and who knows, who knows what that market cap could be comparable to everything else. So again, this is my fantasy. That's all I'm saying. Like I, I don't, I don't believe all this stuff can actually happen, at least not, not in the near future, but uh, Hey, if it does, then uh, you know, I'm going to come back and, and point to this video and be like, I called it. <laughs> but either way, I just want to share those numbers with you because I don't think it's as outlandish as people believe to, you know, to, to have another like 500,000 to 1 million, uh, you know, pack purchases. Again, I'm not saying that's all going to be Rebellion, but if it's Rebellion and the next core set, the Rebellion mini set, um, or a combination of, you know, both or all three, I, I think that there is an opportunity there and that could, you know, make for exciting times ahead. But that is all assuming SPS is uh, at, you know, one cent or below when the burning starts. Um, and we'll have to track that as we go along. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Where do you think we will be? What are your predictions for this upcoming market cycle? 
That is all I have for you guys. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.